Okay, so let's put a six to hit. I'm going to compare that against the monster's armor class, which is there with. Oh! Greetings, travelers, and welcome to minus two proficiency. Let's go. God no! I've been too sweet. What do I do with this thing? What do I do with this? Wait, how do we come across and not? This is just us having the conversation, or no? Like, this isn't actually happening. Jim, do I have a? Do I have a clue in my bosom? Greetings, travelers, and welcome. Quick, pull up your seat. You're about to hear the most wonderful of stories. But first, I need to introduce my friends again. We're going to start with the top left, which is Vicky. You can go first. Hi, I'm Vicky. I'm playing Trevor Fox, who's, my best, who's a detective who is um, helping out the Murphy, who also mm -hmm. loves sharks and has an investigation hat, the light sun. The investigation hat is the best. <laughs> we'll go down that way, and we go to Ellie. Hi, I'm Ace, or Francis Washington McCarthy Parker. Because <laughs> I'm all American for some reason. Um, <laughs> don't shrug your shoulders at me, girl. Um, yeah, that was really condescending. Um, yeah, I'm a greaser. I love Elvis to the point where I want to obviously see him. I have the best hair in the world. It's like a rock. <laughs> I didn't get much sleep last night, as can be told, because it's been a really worrying time for poor old Ace and all of his friends. I'm a bard. <laughs> really good record, one. I had nothing to do with this concern or worries at all. It has nothing to do with me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> next that's the sound they actually one? make. <laughs> that is she. My salamone meatballs are a bit crooked. I'm... <coughs> 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 
drowning in my hair. Um, I'm Victoria Bitters. I'm a not very good drag queen, a knob goblin, um, and also sober tonight after an intervention by certain people. So with any luck, maybe more useful than usual. Also a bard, and also not a very good one because I lip sync everything, but apparently I'm not allowed to do that tonight. I am very evil. <laughs> now, in case some of you are wondering, I think some of you actually are where I have a colander on my head. I received a letter from my brother, Nick. You must know Nick. He is like world famous apothecist. He, he could like bring back someone who has been dead forever to, to life because he is that good. He's come across in his many adventures a, a sect of paladins called the Colander. And I didn't get it. How would he even worship a Colander? Oh, it's not Colander. It's the sect of the core of her. The, you know, the mistress of pain. That wonderful person who is so delightful. Apparently there's people that... And Wait. I think it's a Colander and I've got a Colander on my head. But either way, I'm a paladin. Hurrah. <laughs> it looks like, kind of like uh, Trevor's hat, except not quite as cool. It does look a little bit like Trevor's hat. Does it have light, though? Doesn't have the cool lights in it, no. No, but she can strain past her in a pen. So, if you're all ready, I'll catch you back up on what happened last week. Okay. Um, you guys were theorizing about who was going to be dying next, what the significance of the poem was. Um, you were believing that uh, Kalis was the next target. We tried to investigate her, to find her, you don't find her. We do find Jimmy, who had been killed with under that poison. Then in the morning you found Kalis in the smoking room, having been punctured to the neck. Later on to find that Great Aunt Hortense had fallen, <laughs> fallen <laughs> out of a window, which I'm was the third room. But the very the thing she loved in life, in cobblers. No more cobblers. So there's no cobblers got. No, no gotten cobblers. Um, Can't you've, also, to a corpse for <laughs> you've also had a complication with Tennant, in which Tennant told his backstory. Um, Vigi also shared her backstory. There's been a lot of talk behind the scenes. There's significant threat. Whether there will be, whether there won't be, this is for to find out. So we have Trevor investigating Hortense's room. Vivi has gone downstairs with Minxie, who don't you guys think is the killer? So, yeah, we, we think reminds me of that. And, <laughs> and we have <laughs> Ace kind of wandering around. Ace with me, isn't it? Yeah, I thought I was with Trevor. Yeah, but you would step away from me. With the murder gnome! Wherever Ace is, it's got to be better than having a murderer shoved between your tits! You've been putting her there. No one else comes here but you. <sighs> okay. So let's begin. Is well, there anything that you would like your characters to be doing other than what they are currently doing? I'm going to forget what I'm doing and go back to Trevor because I think that seems like something Ace would do. Yeah. You know, I'm going to go help with the investigation. So you might as well start off with an investigation role, please. Ace of us. A Seventeen. Seventeen. Yep. Eighteen. So, I don't recall everything I gave you last time, but let's have a look. I couldn't so, see through the illusion. Yeah, you've yeah. seen through the yeah, you see the dragon yeah. on the carpet. Yeah, I found disturbances on the carpet. Yeah. And then you followed them and then you got distracted. <laughs> I did. As you do. So you managed to see through the illusion, you refund the disturbances. Um, you've also noticed they are being dragged out of the room and they, you can see that they go in the corner towards where um, Lord Hathaway's room was. Is mm. the former Lord Hathaway's room? Anyway, his room, where his room is. Um, you've also seen that a lot of Hortense and stuff is neatly stacked away. Her old lady cushion and old lady knitting and old lady embroidery, they're all neatly stacked with nice little pals of well. Um her teeth are still in like a glass <laughs> of water. 
next oh, week. Okay. Um, no chance to put them in. I'm so tempted to like pick them up and like make a. <laughs> 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 There's also I'm going to do that, and while I do it, I'm going to suggest to Trevor, I'm going to go, hey, because I'm having a rare moment of, like, synapses actually firing and not misfiring and blowing up his brain. <laughs> hey, man, this isn't the same room. And look, those drag marks that I saw before and forgot about, they go outside. I think we should follow them. But first, I think we should go through her stuff. That's classy. <laughs> I think we should follow them. <laughs> Ladies, tea. No, you put them back in, in the glass then, because, you know, I, I respect other people's stuff once I've messed with it. <laughs> yeah, so you do. We believe you. I could have just thrown them on the floor or put them in a dog mouth or something and let the dog walk off with human teeth. <laughs> so it's as you rummage in through the room, um, Brother Tenant comes up. Oh no. Holding the body of four tents. He's also brought up to put it to rest in her room. Seeing you guys still in there. Bottom of the voice. Oh, I'll uh, go pop this into one of the other rooms until you guys have finished your investigation. Yeah, no, don't no, it's, it's okay, man. It's okay. We, we're, we're done here. We, we just check in through and make sure there's nothing suspicious in, in her stuff for, for any reason. Like maybe somebody wanted to hurt her. My brain's working today, man. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm very happy to see that happen. She goes over, he carefully rests four tenths onto the bed. Um, you see that he's been supporting the neck and her lower back because obviously he snapped her back in the balcony. So he's trying to keep the body in. Not like I don't have a, a hat, back. so I'm going to put my sunglasses uh-huh. over the chest. <laughs> Probably better to see those luscious eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> so caterpillary. I can't do one than the other, and they try to fall off when I do. <laughs> I'd love to be able to wiggle one than the other, but I can do one. Just start gluing them on soon. <laughs> they are glued on. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> oh, we're actually using glue. Okay, sorry. I'm just doing the investigation, just admiring the eyebrows. They are special. I think I can dunk you there. <laughs> well, that's even better, you know. I know that, you know. This is this is genuine affection for the eyebrows. <laughs> from from, uh, from the person that's playing BB, just it's like a background affirmation that suddenly just brightens his whole day. One of the voices in his head, like, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> he says that out loud. Thanks, God. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, God. <laughs> <laughs> you can just hear Elvis in his head. <laughs> thanks, God. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! At least say a couple. Thanks, God. Oh, thank you very much, God. There you go. <laughs> yes. It's so good. Okay, so Trev, what's Trev doing? Do you want to continue the investigation? I do remember you did roll. You didn't find a lot. Yeah, I'm going to have another look through stuff. Okay. Give yourself a roll. Yeah, three. Um, you're more um, distracted with the fact that Ten has brought back in the body and now feels a little bit weird. You know, because if there was a crime scene, normally the body gets taken out beforehand and you know the body's there. It's like, okay, we're done here. Step away for one. <laughs> BB, you're out there with Minxie who could possibly be the killer, just to remind you of this. What was I doing? Why was I downstairs with Minxie in the first place? She's going to the garden. Doing yeah. her oh, she was doing her gardening. That's right. Um, okay, I'm, I still just watching her garden. Mm-hmm. Okay, I watch her garden. <laughs> what makes you take some time? They're drinking at the same time, probably drinking and watching her gardening. Yeah, obviously, drinking's a given. Oh, yeah, so, makes you going from the, the garden. She's um, she looks like she's actually speaking to the plants as well. Mm. It's definitely like touching the petals. You see some of them go from like, you know, rocky to raise up a little bit more. Um, Mr. Chandler jumps out of her hair and goes into the grass himself. Fucking Mr. Chandler. I don't trust that prick. I don't trust that little rodent prick. Um, oh, can I do an investigation? Investiga- would, which one is checking the environment again? Perception. Is that a perception role? Uh, it depends what, you, what are you trying to do. 
I'm trying to figure out what she's doing with the plants. That would be insight. Insight. All right. I'd like to do an insight roll. Okay. Um, 18. 18. And we're adding something to that, I believe. Most maps the grounds. But we're taking one away from that. So 17. Um, it looks like druid stuff. I mean, you're not an expert when it comes to druid stuff, but it looks like druid stuff. Um, she's speaking in a language that you don't understand. It sounds like the creak in a bark, the rest of the wind, the leaves. It sounds okay. like druid speaking. Hmm. Okay, she's doing druidy things then. Her attention's like completely not on you at all. It's, <clears throat> if anything, she's almost like it's, she's forgotten here, are they? Okay. So we focus on making sure all the plants are okay, making sure the garden is in need, being so mm. with the things that she likes, kind of thing. Still going to keep an eye on this bitch. She may not be a bitch. She may be a lovely person who likes flowers, but I'm still going to keep an eye on her. I'm just going to stand there and watch. <laughs> Watch her heal the plants. I'm just going to stick around for now and hopefully the boys will come and find me eventually before the murder gnome kills me. Or Mr. Jangles kills me. Or both. Or both, exactly. I'm in a very dangerous position here in this garden. We know of one thing we're certain. Well, we don't, but we know. And that's one of them's a liar. Mm-hmm. I'm, I bet it's Mr. Jangles. He's a fucking bastard. <laughs> Stomp him into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Just grab by the towel. <laughs> Smack him up against the wall. Nothing that a good tube stock in a wall wouldn't fix. <laughs> That's well and dark. If he, if he did it, he freaking deserves it. He's killed a lot of people, this fucking mouse. I mean, does, does he turn into like one of those like kangaroos with the with the muscles to like throw people there? <laughs> and just punches the shit out, kicks Hortons out a window with his feet. <laughs> And somehow poisons people and stabs, I don't know. You don't His shoulder's like a red root, you could just literally pick her up and throw her. <laughs> that's it, we solved the mystery. Uh, Mr. Jangles is a kangaroo in disguise. Mystery solved, that's, yes. that's it. Yes, Arrest cool. that mouse. <laughs> How do we know he's a mouse? Because it said in the beginning he was a mouse. It went yeah, is he a mouse? Is he a mouse or is he another person? Well, didn't we check that last time? Because I remember, I think I picked him up and throttled him. <laughs> Hmm, but if he's dedicated to his art, why would he, you know, give himself away? Well, I'm sure, I, again, this is coming down to you guys because I was a few sheets to the wind, so I can't remember what happened after I throttled him. I was hoping he'd give up the ghost. You're like, please stop throttling me, you horrible red woman. But none of that. I thought we agreed that when we were going to test these things, we were just going to submerge people. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, oh, this, this, this was an agreed upon tactic. <laughs> <laughs> strategy. Everybody was off. <laughs> no, I couldn't detect magic. It was the best cause. I'm pretty sure that that body is dead after. <laughs> I will say, oh, yeah? detect magic is a third level spell, so none of you uh-huh. got the option of having to detect magic right now. So okay, well that's the best option. Of water and hold them up. Yes. Bubbles would come out! That's not a stupid idea! <laughs> See, it's like it was a poison or something which made her seem close to death. She'd still be very, very gently breathing, so there would be bubbles. Mm-hmm. That's, that, thank you! Thank you! It's, it's clever! It was a good strategy. Yeah, I mean, it's like finding your puncture. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Your puncture, just stick the wheel in a bath and see what happens. <laughs> well, I did like propel her into a wall pretty much and drop her down the side of the bed and I drowned her a couple of times and I think I did something else. I can't remember. I sewed her into the bed. We <laughs> were well, saying this last night that we are, if she is actually a dead body, we were essentially desecrating an innocent corpse by accident. <laughs> yes, well, but I've done it already, so it's not used to me. I'm used to this. If she's minxy, she's innocent. I mean, she's got uh, a cause, but as far as we know, she hasn't blown anything up. So. Yeah. Hmm. Oh dear. Okay, anyway, so I'm in the garden and I'm drinking. Be- what, time, what time of day is it? Sorry, Jim. It's morning. It's Oh, okay, I'm drinking. We have uh, morning, probably- morning mojito. It's a, mo- a, mo- a mimosa, okay. actually. Orange juice and champagne. Perfect. So I'm drinking my mimosa and uh, I'm watching Minxie slash Murder Gnome and that bastard Mr. Jangles. <laughs> Just doing things that might be suspicious. 
<laughs> this is a theater in my head now. This is the poor little mouse looking over occasionally. This is a giant hobgoblin, hoblet, goblin, hoblet, hobbler goblin going. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Mr. Jingles. <laughs> <laughs> the mouse's tail comes out, what's left, and it goes like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a little claw. That's whenever Liam comes along, it's just like, good morning. <laughs> We're gonna go back upstairs, back to the the room of four tents. Um, Tenant's rest is down, place his hand on her forehead. In fact, um, slowly chanting. Um, you don't need to be like, understand the pillow to understand, but this is a funeral right. He's passing his soul on to whatever god that to the worst. It's very much a generic sort of chant. It's, it's when someone doesn't have like a chosen deity or you don't know what the chosen deity is. And this is like a, a cat or kind of chant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, she might be a pastor. <laughs> It's definitely come by us. Well, he didn't automatically pass on to Pelos, so it's it's the most respectful thing you could do. Mm. Yeah, sing Kumbaya. Okay. Kumbaya, Hortens. Kumbaya. It's never respectful to sing Kumbaya. <laughs> it's like agreed that that's like a song for torturing children at campfire. <laughs> it could be singing Gangnam Style. It could be worse. Oh, I bet he is. <laughs> He's got his hand there, and then he's just standing in a little room, flipping at his But really well, sexy lady, what the fuck? Hey, sexy lady. <laughs> Is there anything you two like to do before I get um the literal right to end? We should probably like stand quietly and respectfully, like even if you know we probably don't want to piss off the guy who's potentially like a self righteous nut job. Um, well, <laughs> he probably is. Uh, no, yeah, it'll turn out to be the fucking mouse. Mr. <laughs> 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 the bastard. Um, but yeah, I mean. We should probably follow the drag marks. I mean, I think we know where they're going to go, but we might be able to... I mean, you've got, like, forensic training, haven't you, Trev? So... Yeah, but my roles have been pretty terrible right now at the moment, so... <laughs> I'm a bit worried about, like, you know, I, I know there's, you know, fate and all that isn't a thing, but I'm a bit worried about wasting my good roles on following shit. <laughs> Just, uh, um, uh, I, I don't know. Where, what the drag drag lines headed towards Lord Hathaway's room, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. So it, it's pretty. Uh, maybe we don't need to follow because it's pretty obvious where they're going. I think we need to go and speak to the mouse again because he definitely did not mention that she was dragged to a different room. Hmm. Yeah. T- come come to the garden with me, where the murder gnome was less likely to kill me. Please, and talk to the fucking mouse. Is it safe though to like? Is, is there some way we could like get everybody in one place or something? Because then if everybody's in one place... Yes, like a bedroom. Yeah, or, or like, just somewhere sort of neutral. We could do a Poirot on them and sort of like maybe... ...review the evidence or something. <laughs> you, you want to go Poirot? We've got a lot of evidence of like, you know, we've got how everybody's died and everything and like... Is it sort of like go through what we've got now and like maybe somebody else has found something? Yeah, I mean it could be a full like death in paradise and we just get everybody together and solve the murder. Yeah. <laughs> do, our, do, our, do our characters need to have this conversation first though before we enact the plan? Yeah, we should probably sort of like do do that but maybe that's like the best sort of course of action because then everybody's in the same place. Mm. Bars are always good. Everybody loves a drink. I, I I agree with this with this plan. Mr. Jangles has to be there too. I want him a little mouse handcuffs first, though. Do not trust him. <laughs> He's probably got some. A tiny pair. <laughs> yes, she was like, <laughs> like one of the things she a lot of picks in, and she's got like mouse halfling problem. <laughs> right into rest. <laughs> You're under arrest. You have the right to remain squeakled, and he's <laughs> maybe against you. 
You can have one phone call. <laughs> Execute him as like another little mouse with a hood on stood next to a rat trap. <laughs> the lever. Playing it. <laughs> you can dock again. The last right? meal and everything like attached to it. Oh, <laughs> He's my God. She's like, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he was grating the mouse then, like he had a grater. He's really, real back in. Oh, so, are you two going down to join Victoria Bitters? Please, help me. <laughs> we've been an hour so far, and all we've done is had the failure of the Thuma Lights for... Four. Oh, Christ. Okay. I'm thinking, do you want this to go into another week? Another week of me when no, you want? No, yeah. no, we have to know tonight. We have to know tonight. Let's get on with it. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind another week of winding you guys up. That's fine by me. <laughs> oh, I can't fucking deal with it! I would be driven to more drinking. Okay, get downstairs. The longer this goes on, the longer I've got to drink this fucking non-alcoholic wine. This is just a tragedy. So you both going downstairs? Yeah, I think we should go down and find everybody and, and gather everybody together and see what, what everybody knows. Mm-hmm. You mean like, like in those cop shows when the, the fat guy from France gets everybody together? <laughs> She got it. Yeah. <laughs> the fat guy from France gets everyone together and tells who it says who the murderer is. Cool. Let's do this. I am not some French gent. I am some Belgian gent. I'm not a bloody frog. I am a bloody Belgian. <laughs> now he's going for like bumbling English detective on a paradise island. But you know. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously because the sharks there. Yeah. So are you all going to go back into the hotel? What room are you guys going to be heading for? Well, I think we should get VB first. We should we should make sure that the the big red cherry is safe. <laughs> I'd hope so. That it's might that might be nice. She's part of, part of our team. Yeah. One of the vaginas. Mouse follow down their teeth. Hmm. So. <laughs> <you don't... laughs> and I just said it. He just does what I do when he doesn't hear people. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so go find BB. I think Travis should take the lead though because he's like, you know, the one with some authority. I don't have any authority. I'm just like some, some local twit who's <laughs> I'm all the, in my official capacity as some guy. <laughs> he's I'm a child, isn't that right? <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, did you that? I don't think she oh, did, no. did she? I only shared it to you. It was <laughs> a guy, that the only experience it had was form a child. Because he had hey, not like become an interview on like a TV or something. It was like Chris something or other former child. <laughs> I think it's Ace. It was Ace. It's his only experience thus far. A child. I was once a child. Now I am not. <laughs> Okay, we go down to find VB in the garden. She's on her third breakfast and keto already. Yeah, Where she gets this from, nobody knows. Um, Minx, you can see Minxy within the garden. She looks like she's not far off being finished. As soon as she starts the same side with VB, hasn't worked her way along it. Um, mm -mm. If you want to look for Mr. Trandles, I will ask you to go a perception check with disadvantage, but that's your choice. Can yeah. we just ask her where the mouse is? So? Yeah. Even though we think she's the murder gnome, I mean, does our characters know? Because whatever happens, we're going to have to keep. Yeah, but we know that the mouse was obviously lying. Like, yeah. somebody was lying, either the mouse or her. We don't know that yet, though. Our characters don't know that. Cause we, oh, have yeah, we do, because we've investigated the room and we've seen that she was in dragged from her room. Yeah, that's true. So whatever the mouse saw, mind you, yeah. do we know what the mouse saw? Because we both dis we were there when the mouse was talking. Yeah, you weren't. I was. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Cause I, I don't know much, to be fair. Um, but yeah, we I need to act like we don't know, don't we? You can't treat her any differently, or she'll know. I think, I think the important thing is to get everybody in one place rather than focusing too much attention on getting the truth right now. There are certain things we need to put in place first before mm -hmm. we start putting ourselves at risk. Mm. What do I know? I'm just a drunk drag queen. <laughs> uh, we don't want to let Minxie, if Minxie is Bright Star, we don't want to let her in on the fact that we probably, you know, that we might be on to her. So we exactly. can't, you're going to have to keep tucking her in your tits, basically. <sighs> Such is my life. 
Okay. Hi, boys. Great <laughs> way of introducing myself. What the fuck took you guys so long? Did you find anything up there? Sorry, doll, we were doing cop work. <laughs> okay. I'm a deputy now. <laughs> deputy, just call me Deputy Parker. Wait. Okay, just we're just going to bypass the fact that there is no way you could have gotten a, a on you know a promotion like that. Um, what did, what did you just, and, and looking at Minxy just like lowers her hobgoblin voice as much as possible. Did you find anything sus up there? Yeah, we found some things. Okay, do some questions. Hmm. Um, I have a theory. But I think we need to move a little bit further away from the garden. Just keeping, keep her in eye shot, but can we just go a little bit further away? Sure. Okay. okay. Can you all roll me a stealth check, please? Fifteen. <laughs> Sixteen. Six. <laughs> Trevor! <laughs> no, Trevor! <laughs> That was a tall hobgoblin more stealthy. Okay, so Ace with his plus one gets 16, BB with a minus one gets 15, and Fred with his plus three gets nine. Um, Ace and BB just are gone. Trevor, however, knocks over a watering can and he goes, blink, 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 makes he looks up. See you all walking away. Okay. Okay, she's okay with it. I still want to have her an eye shot. I just yeah, obviously. don't. Yep, I just don't want her to hear us so well. It's a garden, so there's going to be a statue of a dramatic woman with her boobies out. Like, we can just stand in the shadow of the booby woman. No, it's glassier than that. There's a water. There's like a fountain. But he won't listen to anything that's being said if there are boobies hanging above his head. That's true. It was like one of those children that's pissing in a fountain or something. No, like, that was. Rich places have them. <laughs> It's like outside uh, Pattinson's place, that like free to your fountain. Yeah. Uh, Match class. Very nice. This isn't finished yet because I was going to cover it in dramatic naked women. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> we haven't got to that stage yet. Um, okay. So we get to the, na- the, the boy pissing in water. Hello, Marky. And uh, I say, um, did you guys notice that? Tenant seemed really intent on me t- spilling my life story to him. Like, I'm talking super intense. Like, the, the, the guy really, really seemed to be pushing the point. He shared a lot, didn't he? Yeah. He did. Do you he, think there might be something behind that? Because he eased off as soon as I, I talked about my past a bit. Yeah. He, sound, he sounds like kind of a, a good guy, but I don't know. It's just something. He's given off bad vibes, man. Bad, bad vibes. Yeah, he's a very yeah. intense man of God. That's true, but you remember at the very beginning where we had all those accusations read out to us? Yeah. Mm. In the bar, and it asked us to plead guilty, or it asked us what we wanted to plead. Mm. And then now tenants got really stuck into me about telling my life story. He did seem to get really pretty quick as well. Hmm. And the letter that I got from um, from my, my, my friend who invited me to the show here, which is obviously not happening, the handwriting is the same as the letter, the poem that we received. Doesn't that strike you guys as a bit odd? I mean, do you, do you guys have the letters that of your invitations here? Yeah. Yeah, certainly. Just pop them, pop them out. <laughs> Can we compare the um, the letters, Jim? Yeah, um, because you rolled so high when you did the investigation, I'll allow that to continue over here. Um, okay. They are exactly the same handwriting. Like, there's like some subtle differences, mm-hmm. but when you compare like the major letters, like your E's, your R's, your S's, they are exactly the same. If we get everybody together, we can t- look at theirs as well. We can put them all on the table and look at them as a whole. I will say you have done that already in the first week. Yeah. I think they are all the same. I think the same person that wrote the letters to invite us here has written that poem. And when I I think what we need to do is we need to talk 
We need to get everybody together and we need to all spill our guts. Yeah. That's what we were asked to do on the first night and Tenet pushed so hard for me to do it. I think that's what he's after. Hmm. Worth a shot. It's not going to be easy. I mean, it was easy for me because I had such a temper up but, um, and uh, probably about 500 drinks in me, but I, I, I think that's what needs to happen. Mm. We need to get everybody together. And I don't think that um, Liam is going to be too happy to see either Ace or me, Trev, so I think that one's on you, babe. Hey, well done. <laughs> Well, he, he doesn't want to see Ace, and he clearly doesn't want to see me after I told him he was an abortion bucket. <laughs> I think, and besides, you're the law. You're, you, can pull them, you can pull them together. I mean, couldn't you just tell them that they're obstructing justice if they refuse to come along? I mean, I don't have much just jurisdiction here, but we can give it a go. <laughs> well, they don't know the, that. You're the only law guy. <laughs> you're the closest you thing. Just he won't know. Liam's a dimwit. He's got the IQ of a constipated Brussels sprout. He won't know. Let me just, just check that. What, Liam's <laughs> IQ? And I know you guys may not know this, but I watch a lot of TV. And I've seen, sh- seen a show once about when there's no rule of law. And it's got, it's got to fall to the nearest guy who does law and that'd be you <laughs> uh, it, it's it's thin and wobbly but i'm prepared to go with it you are the closest thing we've got since we're cut off from the mainland yeah the person who would be law based again is to have a tenant as a judge mm. but is he likely to get you know in, in the case of an initial investigation if he's got nothing to hide why would he get in the way of the police yeah, no, that, that's my, my point is there that with him being a judge, he also has um, leverage, which you guys could ask him to um, use in order to get everyone to come to certain areas, which is what he has been doing up to this point, yeah. makes it look like when he's called him together, they will come because he is a judge. Mm. Mm. So we need to get Tenant on board with the plan. That's going to be interesting. We don't need to tell him, he doesn't need to know, like, why we're all getting, you know, all he needs to know is that, you know, we, we're getting everybody together to review the evidence. He doesn't need to know anything more than that, because I think letting him know is a death knell anyway, is if, like, yeah. he is behind it. We don't want him to know what we're doing, because we're essentially conniving. Um, well, so we need him to think it's the Poirot moment, basically. Which, Whatever the which, case, boys, it needs to happen as soon as possible because people are dropping like fucking flies at the moment. And exactly something. the point with that is nobody's got any reason to not come oh, and mm. to hide. True. Yeah, okay. Let, let's make this Everybody's happen. Best interest. So. Okay. So how do we how do we want to do this? Maybe like, is there like a dinner bell or something? I'm, I'm sure there was. It is. We can ring that and like get everybody to. I know nobody's had breakfast yet because there's nobody to cook for us, and I'm not trusting Minxie to cook for us. Um, no. Even though we've been eating her berries. Have to eat things. If she's, if she's killing us in order, she, you know, whoever's next to be. So it's probably safe to eat Minxie's berries if we're being killed in order. But I, I don't want to risk it. I, I don't feel hungry. <laughs> darling, we're not want to run that risk. I think we just need to eat out of cans. As, you know, as sad as that is. I don't want to eat out of cans any more than you do, but I'm, I'm not trusting anything that isn't already sealed up. That's nice. There's a can I'm all up for it. I think we Thanks. should say we should let the little girl in on the plan, kind of. Mm. We walked over here and she saw us. She knows. I mean, if that was me, I'd think, hey, they, they don't like me. They want to... You know, they, they, they're pushing me away, like, so we should tell her something. I think we should tell her what we're doing, but not all of it. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll let her know that we're just all getting together to review the evidence. And I think I think that should be sufficient. That should yeah. be fine. Yeah, we talked okay. it over and we're going to do this. Oh. Yeah. yeah. We, shouldn't, we, should treat, we shouldn't treat her any different or she's going to get it in her head that 
hey, this guy's giving me the shaft, you know? Yeah, and also we need her to talk to the mouse. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go over and talk to her then. Are we doing that? Chop, 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 chop! You can go talk to Minxie. Yep. Let, her in, let, let, let her know what we're doing, but not the whole of it. Mm. Just stuff that, I mean... Minxie! She looks over, sees you, puts her hand up, and you're like, one moment. For fuck's sake, what the f- is so important in that fucking garden? She's just so fixated on it. Go be bullshit. Like, what? What? It could be what shit? No, you go be bullshit, because you would have done before, wouldn't you? Oh. Oh. Like, go on, go, go get her. Oh, fuck. I'm just going to go into the garden and stand next to her. <laughs> Not treading on things, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Put my big high heels on. I'm aerating the dirt. It's fine. <laughs> see, as you go, it's a dimmer, isn't it? <laughs> as you go, Just, you, you can see the teeth like carefully pruning this, this plant, cutting back the, the stems that it doesn't need to have, allowing like a main stem to go stronger rather than have um, too much going on to it. She does like that. Like see as you smiles. Puts How careful hand. is she being with this? How is she touching it? Very carefully, like she's skilled at it, like there's a lot of care going into it. Not like she wants to not make contact with certain parts of it. No, she's, she's like, like you got the main stem there, you got like a couple of small ones come up, and she's very carefully going with them. Taking she's notes. literally just pruning it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was wondering if it might be poison and she's trying not to like stab herself on it or something. Yeah. She puts out a hand, Mr. Jennings comes in now, settles onto her hand, she puts him back up into her hair, and she gets up. The door comes out! <laughs> <laughs> Funny little paw. <laughs> she gets up and smiles at Phoebe. Hey? Hi! Um, so, we were just chatting, and mm-hmm. we think we all need to get together to talk about what's been going on, go through the evidence, because I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a lot of people dying, and we need to figure out what to do. So, are you up for that? I, I guess we're all safe together. I mean, if one of us is doing this, then they're not likely to try anything when we're all together, right? Yep, that's exactly right, sweetheart. But you need to get back in between my tits to be extra safe. So, are you okay with that? Are you and Mr. Jangles okay with that? I, I can't have a walk. I do have working legs. I, I know you do, sweetheart, but you're also very small and you could get lost easily and as long as you're with me, you can't get snatched away or beamed up or, you know, you, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be safe as long as you're, you're with me. So can you please just let me put you in between my tits? It's not for pleasure. Cats. Us sound cats got to stick together, babe. Roll me a persuasion check, please. Don't <laughs> persuade her and let me put her in my tits. <laughs> I <laughs> can Get in my tits. Get in that cleavage, little gnome girl. She looks like she's about to protest, but it's like, if that makes you happy, then that's fine. Oh, aren't you a sweetheart? It does make me happy, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kangaroo. <laughs> I've got a mouse in there as well. I don't know how I feel about this whole arrangement. Murder gnome, potentially, and a fucking rodent. Murder gnome or murder mouse. Too fair, you had a mm-hmm. rodent in there last week as well. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, at least, at least we know where she is. At least we know where she is. She's not going to get through all that fake silicon anytime soon. <laughs> okay, so are you guys going inside then, yes? Yeah. Can you go yes. ring that bell? Okay. I'm going to ring the bell and I'm going to do it like I'm playing a tune. Because <laughs> 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 of course I am. Like the little arm, like hip thrusting. <laughs> As you're ringing the bell, I oh have you blunt and grab your wrist. No! Enough noise. So much fuck off! Over this morning. Oh, fucking. Ju- fuck off, Liam! <laughs> fuck off! As soon as, before she even spoke, her face went. <laughs> but I knew who it was gonna be! <laughs> As he's walking past, he turns back guns to the killer and says, You can fuck yourself. Whoa. Hey, 
You don't need a fucking I can't can do it for her. I can <laughs> Guys, we're trying to get everyone together, not try to push them away. He makes it so easy. <laughs> get him, Trev. <laughs> Shoot him, Trev! It's self defense! Hey, Liam, wait. I know Trev's oh. American cop, but we're not going that dark, okay? Let's just pull that one back in as quickly as we can do. He's a 50s, like, he's a 50s mafia cop, though. He's probably got a Tommy gun, and he probably stands at the end of alleyways firing, going, Ah! <laughs> shark power. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, my God, he's firing little I... bullet shit like sharks. Oh, if he can get a shark gun that, like, shoots shoot great white right, sharks and just, like, eight people. <laughs> <laughs> be awesome. Um, I take Ace's uh, wrist and I check it. So, you all right? Yeah, babe, be yeah. fine. That wet rag didn't cause any damage. Well, he couldn't, could he? But he does. I'm sure he wanks pretty hard, so I wouldn't be surprised. You sure, His wrists okay? are kind of powerful. Yeah, sounds about right. Okay. Kind of, kind of intense. <laughs> <clears throat> Can I help yeah. make that guy? Do we really have to try and save this asshole? Yeah, babe. It's a. Uh... He may be an asshole, he may be a wet rag, but he is alive and all life is sacred. I don't think there is anything sacred about that man. I, I really want to just take this bell and jam it over his stupid fucking furry face. You guys are going to have to probably help me keep my temper in check because I think I will thump this guy before the day's over with and I don't think that's conducive. He may be the killer. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not going to help us with the investigation if you beat him up. I know, Trev. I'm sorry. It's just such a fucking douche canoe. He's really hard to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> every, every, everything he does is just annoying. My God. Uh, I'm sure his birth certificate was an apology letter from the condom factory. <laughs> okay. Oh. I guess... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I think I'm, I'm relatively calm, but can, if you guys see me getting redder than I normally am, like, you know, going from this nice salmon pink to more of a kind of old man having a heart attack stroke red, can someone please grab my hand and hold me down? I'm going to put my hand on her shoulder and just lean in. Yeah. It's okay, babe. We're right the there thing with you. you. You Do the it. thing with your eyebrows, it does tend to calm me. Okay, I think I'm ready. So, last is the lieutenant. Um, he's dressed fully now in his um, priestly robes. Was he not fully dressed when he was handling that dead body? That fucking perv. <laughs> he's like dressed and then. Walking around in his dirty wife runs like <laughs> He put all of his vestments on guard and did, like big space. He didn't do the last rites in his vestments. No. These, these are unique times. These are unique times. We should remind him eventually that impersonating a priest is naughty. <laughs> <laughs> very naughty. Swearing also is very naughty. He's done both those things. So Tannikin's done. I've, uh, I've uh, made sure that she's as comfortable as he can be. I mean, stage not be comfortable. he's going to get a lot of comfort. Anyway, um, I didn't know any kind of like what God she was or anything. So I've given her the, the basic rights that I can. Um, nothing specific to hell or anything like that. Just, I hope she finds the rest of after. Hey, uh, None of us know each other. other. It's just the best we could do. I'm sure she. I'm sure she'd understand that. None of us know anything about each other. I hope so. I'd also like to apologize to you, to you too, Miss. Sorry that was so hard. And you just found the guys going through my stuff. It's not exactly the most calming of situations. I hope you can understand that. Oh, it wouldn't be the easiest thing to walk in on. I'm sorry I lost my temper. It's... There's just so much going on right now, and we're all so confused. 
So many people have died. We just, we were just desperate to find some answers. I'm very sorry we invaded your privacy. I understand. I, I, I do understand. Yeah, man, sorry. We're just trying to help out the law guy. He's just one guy. And he's trying to do law. And you're a law guy too. You know it ain't easy to do law. Especially when there's no other law guys to back you up. <laughs> it does seem to be the rule of law. So, um, we're all down here for breakfast. I, I heard the bell ring and I don't know who's doing the cooking on here, but I'm certainly not a very good cook, to tell you the least. Nah, man, none of us oh, can. We're all gonna starve to death if we don't get murdered first. I, I, I can't, I don't, I don't cook. I can't cook. People cook for me. I don't, I don't do the cooking. I have it brought to me and fed to me usually, so I'm not gonna be much help. Well, there's some cans of stuff in the kitchen. How do we open them? A rental. Are there can openers around here? They're, they're ring pulls. Ring can. Oh, they're ring pulls! Okay, oh, that, that's a fucking relief. I thought I'd have to do manual labour for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Can openers don't exist, they're a myth. <laughs> <laughs> like aliens. <laughs> I've never seen my ma open a can with a can opener. <laughs> then she has the can and then the food is in a bowl. There's no in between. Your mother is clearly a magician, my darling. <laughs> only, only a magician would be capable of such an extraordinary feat of strength. She's a, magician. She's a magician in the kitchen, and if we get out of here, man, I'll take you home and introduce you to her, and you can try her PB and J. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure, I'm sure that would go really well. I'm sure Mrs. Parker would love to see a seven foot tall hobgoblin just trancing into a house demanding to be fed. She'd fucking love it. His dad would call the police. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to gather a posse. <laughs> Just all the yeah, well, I'm used to the pitchforks turning turning up when I uh, when I rock up for dinner. Okay, so what was going on? I'm just um I'm completely lost track now. I, I think BB would just kind of sit in like and just be like. We just haven't actually gone around to telling him what we're doing yet. He thinks he he still thinks we've called him for breakfast. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I went off about pans. <laughs> Can't open it. Next time, on minus two proficiency. We were talking about the first night here when all the accusations were read out. I've been looking at the poem since then and it seems as though the poem relates to the order of people dying and how they're dying. We took scalps. We took, we took scalps as trophies. There's a lot in my past that I'm deeply ashamed of. They were using to, to intimidate people because I had to join the police like Daddy did. Well, now, now they keep threatening to out me. I, I, I gotta say it. It's, it's, I, I, I'm guilty. I did it, and I deserve to be here. I deserve to be here, and I deserve what's gonna happen. <laughs>